here's my um, web server um, hook up to the uh, radiation detector. That's all here. There's the power supply, there's the tube. I've got the buffer circuitry, basically a Darlington transistor with a voltage divider and then um, uh, a resistor, a potentiometer to set the, the uh, pulse level for the, um, the PSOC board, the uh, ARM microcontroller. It's got a uh, Ethernet shield on the top and that's the board underneath with the processor. I've got a um, web server running on it. There's the Ethernet connection to my network. And what's happening is, is the, the website is running off of that little board. Um, here's the, uh, the actual website itself when I refresh it. It shows right now radiation events 338 seconds passed since I started this up 235 and, I've, and it just computes events per minute 86 that's just the boilerplate around the the fault web server code here's the design in the development environment which is really powerful there's my code there to um, display the stuff but this is there's the little um, essentially equivalent circuit that's loaded in the um, there's a comparator here that's inside the chip from the potentiometer I get my set voltage here's the uh, the, the, pro um, the actual signal coming in from the uh, from the tube that's been uh, uh, amplified by the Darlington brought into this comparator which then goes into I found out that it looks like the power supply being non sinusoidal generates a lot of little uh, glitches on the or not glitches well, I, guess, I guess essentially glitches that are amplified by the Darlington and then turn on the transistor and cause little very short straight pulses so I have a debounce logic element in here that's taking that it has a, a 48 kilohertz clock going in and it sort of settles out all the, the noisy pulses and I get the, the the single pulses coming in to this timer block which basically counts the rise time of the of the count of the pulse itself it interrupt it starts counting on the on the uh, falling edge of the of the uh, pulse from the tube counts at uh, 24 megahertz and then when the when it, the rise time happens it uh, then has a value, generates an interrupt to the software, and then I can read out the, um, the counter value in microseconds and then use that as a determination whether to count it or not. And then the software itself makes a determination in the interrupt service routine whether the, uh, whether the count is big enough to be an actual event or not. So, so that's basically it. I know it's a little bit messy here, but seems to be working. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a heads up about what I'm doing.